Shape layers are awesome, but if you've ever really had to work with them, you know that working with them can be quite awkward because all the controls are buried here in the timeline and you have to twirl down for each one of these. So for example, here's a polystar and you have to open each one of these to get to each control. So what Transshape aims to do is give you an inspector where you can have access to all of these controls here in this convenient panel. Now we just released a new version based on user feedback that gives you the option to have real-time controls with the sliders. So let me show you what I mean. So what you do first is you have your shape layer and well let's say for this shape layer here let's say we have a star and then we'll have a square and then we'll also add a, an ellipse. So now we have three shapes inside of the shape layer. So you select the shape layer and you hit get. And there's a preference where you can just roll over the UI and it automatically updates all the values. So once you have it in the Transshape UI, you can see here all of your shape layers. So we have an ellipse, we have a rectangle, and we have a polystar. And then if you hit on the, uh, let's, uh, let's just select one of these. Then if you click on the settings button, the little question mark, you have this new preference here, which it says prefer slider feedback over undo. The reason that the performance was a little bit slow when using the sliders before was because when you move something, the each one of the, well, let me just show you. So now you can select, say, for example, the ellipse here, and then you can just slide it in real time. And you can see it moves in real time and it just works great. Now, the problem, though, is that you have a um, you know, each one of these slider increments is an undo group. So now you have the performance, but you kind of, you know, you have to undo each little increment at a time. Otherwise, the way it was working before is you just turn this preference off. And when you move it, um, it gets this sort of like jerky movement, but you have one undo that gets you back to where you were. So I would imagine you probably want to have the feedback. So you turn this preference on. And now it basically, you can see it dragging in real time. And then when you let go, it just moves to the new position. And that goes for all the controls. So for example, let's say here, I wanna move to the rectangle and we wanna change the roundness here. You can just see that in real time and it just gives you the roundness once you let go. So that's the new performance in the new version. And just to cover all the features, you can also change the layout of the UI from column to tab. So right now we're in column view, which shows you all of the controls in one place. If I switch over to tab, you have to restart Transshape. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now you have a much smaller footprint, so I can close the window. And you can see here now I have three tabs for each one of these groups. So you have the transform group, you have the color group, and you have the, uh, you know, the each, each path controls and you can actually do that for each one of them. So this is the rectangle and the polystar. So obviously some have more than others. So, you know, I don't know, you can change the roundness of the star. And you can also set the values for each one of the sliders by clicking on the star icon. So if you click on here, you can set the minimum and maximum value for each slider individually. And if there's uh, two sliders in the case of position, for example, you can set them both independently. And that's Transshape. It's just a quick inspector. And now, you know, with, with, this, new, with this new preference setting, it's totally real, real time, which should help um, alleviate some of the concerns uh, some of you guys had. Hope you guys enjoy it.